Stratospheric aerosol spraying, or commonly known as chemtrails, there's many people that think that this is absolutely not possible. There's no way that you know, this could be taking place at all because the government hasn't confirmed it. They haven't come out and said, yes, we're definitely doing this. There's been no media source that said, yep, they're, they're definitely out there spraying today. Um, there hasn't been a scientific journal that's confirmed it or a science channel or a science magazine. However, there, there does seem to be some documentation uh, strongly pointing to the fact that this is in fact taking place. Um, a lot of people ask me why in the world would you know, we be sprayed and the most common answer um, to that question I found is that um, to modify the weather or to somehow geoengineer our weather um, to counteract the effects of global warming is the biggest uh, reason I found. So I'd like to show everyone some documentation that I found on this and just see if I might be able to present this in a way that can open up someone's mind. And again, the most common question I'm asked is what's the purpose of aerosol spraying and the popular explanation is geoengineering. And here's the literature I found supporting this theory. The first thing I'd like to take a look at is the Wellsbach patent. The Wellsbach patent was presented to Hughes Aircraft Company back in uh, 1991 in March. And as you can see here, it says stratospheric Wellsbach seating for reduction of global warming. Here's the summary of the invention, and it basically says the method is to see the greenhouse gas layer with a quantity of tiny particles of materials and then it goes into what these are, oxides of metal, um, like aluminum oxide, are also suitable for the purpose. It could possibly look something like this. And then this goes a little more in depth into what the Wellsbach materials are. It talks about Wellsbach materials. Um, it says that it would be the one or more of the oxides of metals. Uh, three here says aluminum oxide and four is thorium oxide. Now I know we typically hear about barium in the chemtrail literature, and I've never seen thorium until I looked into this, but it is radioactive and also very carcinogenic. So this is what they would be spraying in the skies according to this patent. Second thing I'd like to show to y'all is the Council on Foreign Relations document called Unilateral Geoengineering for May of 2008. This is the first page, and it just basically says that this is non-technical briefing notes for a workshop that they had. It does say there's a variety of strategies such as injecting light reflecting particles into the stratosphere that might be used to modify the Earth's atmosphere. This is the second page here. And again it says add more small reflecting particles in the upper part of the atmosphere, the stratosphere which is located between 50 and 50 kilometers above the Earth's surface. And then there's three other techniques they would use to lessen the effects of global warming as well. Here's an image of what it would look like if they were to actually do this, if they were to spray the particles into the upper atmosphere. This is the third page right here, and this is really interesting. It says, um, applied to geoengineering, various technologies could be used to loft particles into the stratosphere, such as naval guns, rockets, hot air balloons or blimps, or a fleet of high-flying aircraft. And then right here it discusses the annual undiscounted cost for a 40-year project to do so, and it would be about $100 billion. Now, I know a lot of you still probably don't think this is possible. That's possibly not enough information for you, but I did find some more patents. Here's one about uh, powder contrail generation that was actually put out in August of 1975. This is one discussing a method of modifying the weather that was put out in November of 2001. That's the background of the invention. Feel free to pause and, and read that over. Here's one about tropical cyclone disruption, and this is from August 20th, 1993. That's the abstract. So yes, there is actual patents on weather modification out there, and this is the claims behind it. And then finally, this is from the National Academy of Sciences. This is the first page right here. And as you can see, it's called Policy Implications of Greenhouse Warming, Mitigation, Adaptation, and the Science Base. And this is written in 1992. And right here it says, use aircraft to maintain a cloud of dust in the low stratosphere to reflect sunlight. 
Here's an article from the Chicago Tribune written on July 9th of 2006. It's called Weather Modification Raises Red Flags and Pushes Ahead. And right here it states that about 1,900 pounds of silver iodide was scattered in the skies and then an additional 30 projects are already booked for this year and you can feel free to stop this and read the whole thing. So, of course, that makes me wonder how many projects they have booked now and what they entail. After seeing these patents, I'd really wonder what they are. I have a feeling it might look something like the images that I have here. But then again, that's always up for you to decide, and it's always up for you to do your own research. It all boils down to whether or not you think this could be possible, but I think that these patents provide a very strong indicator that this is going on. Thanks for watching, y'all.